It is finally time to install the floors in our cabin. We are so excited about this. We have all of the lumber, all of the tools, and we can't wait to show you the results. We are back at the cabin. We're about to drive the four-wheeler on the trails back out to our off-grid cabin. Today we are putting the floors in and we're pretty excited about that. We've got hardwood floors for the interior of our cabin. First we're gonna bring all of our tools out to the cabin and then come back for the hardwood floor. We forgot to bring the brad nailer to start our boards on the edges of the cabin. So we stopped at Menards and we had to get other things anyways and we ended up getting a brad nailer that was like $25 so we're kind of curious to see how well that works. Hopefully it makes it at least through this project. Ready. It's been too long. It has. Never installed floors before, especially hardwood. You so You even install, installed some kind of floors. Yeah, some laminate and a little bit of carpet and whatnot, but never Not hardwood this. plank flooring. That's home sawn, home dried, uh, home milled. Go easy on us in those comments. <laughs> I'm curious to see how long this actually takes. It'd be really cool if we could at least get the boards installed on this weekend trip. It'd be super cool if we could start sanding. Hopefully we can at least, at least figure out how to install the boards and hopefully it's not a complete chore to s install every single board. Cause they fit together like tongue and groove, right? Basically. Yeah. Yep. And so if they don't want to go together, that could be really frustrating. If they're not straight and we have to pry them straight or yeah. twisted and warped and yeah. it'll be interesting. The other part of this is that we've had these floorboards for a very long time. So they've been sitting, hopefully not getting too warped for a very long time. <laughs> How does it make you feel seeing the cabin again? I mean, it feels extra good because the leaves are stunning right now. The aspens are like fluorescent yellow. I don't know if fluorescent is the right word, but very bright yellow. And there are red leaves and some of the leaves are still green, so it's a perfect mix. It's just beautiful. I, it's different being at the cabin this time because usually we bring all of our stuff out here and I want to unpack and feel at home and maybe start a fire and feel cozy, but we don't have anything in the cabin right now. If you watched our last video, we cleared out our bed, everything pretty much off of the floor in the bedroom in the main area of the cabin so that it's ready for flooring. So we're not unpacking. We didn't even bring our stuff out here. We have a camper in the up by the road and that's where we're gonna spend the night tonight and so we don't have food to unpack things to unpack we just have tools so it feels a little bit different but I'm really really excited to get the floors done so that we can work on like other stuff <laughs> not really that excited to do the floors but I am excited to see how it turns out it will transform the look of the cabin completely it's gonna be so different Like I said, we cleaned out the whole cabin last time we were here. If you didn't see that video, we took everything out of the bedroom, everything out of here, basically put it up in the loft, brought it out. I'm gonna give the floor another sweep, get everything cleaned out even better. We are going to have to take 
a few trips with the trailer and the four-wheeler to bring the lumber out here, like I said, to put on the floor. This is the before. We've decided to wait to wrap our wood stoves around until we have the floors in because I think I would rather have the floor and then the cement comes and butts up to the wood rather than do the surround and then butt the wood up to it and you'd be able to see how the wood butts up to it. I just think it's gonna look nicer if we put the floor in first, so that's what we decided. It's so pretty right now. Corey is setting up the generator and the air compressor for all of our tools. Again, if you watched our last video, our battery to run our lights in our cabin was pretty dead. So we brought a better charger with this time so that we can plug that charger into the generator to charge our battery and then have lights for days. So Corey's getting that all set up while I go ahead and sweep this cabin. I have swept the entire bedroom and now we are going to chalk a line down the center of the cabin. The reason we do that is so that the boards hopefully look straight when you're looking down the cabin. So for example, when you look here, hopefully it looks like a straight board and not like that they get going at an angle. So you measure from here that way and then do that a couple times. I don't know if this is making sense, but you use that to make sure that the boards go straight through the cabin. However, the problem is, is this is an imperfect cabin. So it might still look crooked because like the base of our fireplace, is not perfectly square, etc. Also this cabin shifted a little bit over the past few years. So we're gonna do it to try our best to make it look really nice. Ready. You can't even see it. We should have snapped it. it 18 times. We got a little bit of chalk there. All right, let go. Isn't this brand new? Yeah, well I had to put chalk in it, so maybe I need to put more chalk in it. There we go, that's a chalk line. Don't snap it again. You missed it in the middle. Wait, let me do it. Uh, I gotta come up closer. What? There's too much bow in the floor. I think we just have to snap it harder. I wanna snap it. Me, me, me. Ready? One, two, three. I just don't think there's any chalk. Hold on a second. Hi, Gold. Okay. Hey, buddy. Do you want to look at our perfect line with the camera? Yeah. Do you want to see how good our line is? Wow. Wow. That is a nice line. They are all different kinds of wood, so it's gonna be a mixed wood, hardwood floor. Here we go. I'll load it up. We've got some unique features. Yes, yes, yes. Some really cool stuff. This is the perfect time of year when there are no bugs, 
the weather feels great. It's not hot, it's not cold. The leaves are incredible. Okay. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm just like really sleepy. <laughs> Time for coffee? I was gonna try and not drink coffee all day to save my teeth from the acidity, but then we started eating those root beer candies anyway, so should have just drank the coffee. Don't have a stapler apparently. Did you check both of the toolboxes? Mm-hmm. Bummer. What would we have brought it home for? For John's roof. Hmm. John? Just kidding. Our boards for the floor are all different lengths and different types of wood. We've brought in a few different bundles so that when we start to lay it out, we will have options for lengths and types of wood. mistakes like that. The floor is looking really good and I'm really impressed with how it's going so far. We have the first maybe almost half of the bedroom done and the pattern is really cool with all of these different types of wood it's not stained or anything yet the cracks aren't lining up perfectly again this wood is home sawn have been sitting for a long time honestly overall i think it looks really really good now the wood body won't hide <laughs> how's it going now that you got your bed is this much better yeah, that was nice that dad got you your bed. We are to the point now where our next couple rows, we would like to be straight all the way from this wall to the other wall of the cabin in the living room. Our other thought is that maybe we don't do a line all the way across the cabin and put a separation board here and do just different I don't know I don't know how to explain it but do this room stop and then do that room we have prepped this room for the first row sort of um, the next thing we would do is measure from our our line to where this side of this board is supposed to go but this is kind of a different tricky thing because there's a little indent in here for our patio door and so we're gonna have to rip a board down we don't have a table saw here so rip a board down probably with a skill saw the best we can to fit in there before we even do our first true row of boards across
it is finally raining, which we have been needing for a long time here in Minnesota. It's been extremely dry, but <laughs> it's kind of funny timing because we're trying to get the floor in the cabin today and now it rains, but we're gonna go and probably spend some time in town, get coffee, maybe go to a coffee shop. But the problem is that we forgot the keys to the Durango in the cabin last night. So I put on all of this rain gear that we had in the camper and I'm gonna take the four-wheeler out to the cabin, get the keys. But yeah, I love fall so much. Honestly, it wouldn't be fall if it didn't have rainy, crisp days. There's something about this time of year that brings me back to childhood more than any other time of year. Probably because it's so distinct in the scents and the sights and the feel and We went to the uh, hardware store when we went to get coffee and we got a few different types of wood putty. We're gonna put down more wood in general on the floors today. So we brought more out here, more of our paneling. We're gonna put that in the cabin and hopefully we're able to at least get the boards in the floor how they're supposed to be this weekend. And then if we get the chance to test out these putties, then maybe we come back in about a week or two and we do the putty, the sanding, the staining. We're gonna start in here, work our way this way. And then depending on how that goes, we're gonna decide if we're gonna line up the whole cabin or if we're gonna put a divider between the two rooms. inches on this end from this edge not the tongue because the tongue fits inside this board it looks decent it's horrible oh there we go it didn't go far enough Right there. If we can get rid of those spots, it should fit a little tighter. We were hoping that we would be able to put a lot of these boards outside today and then kind of cherry pick them for the floor and this would be all nice and open for us to work in, but it's still kind of drizzling out. We are still working on those first few boards. This is probably the most tricky part for this room, hopefully, until we like cut around the ladder and the wood stove and stuff, but getting us started is tricky. He's had to trim off the far end of this board so that it would be how we wanted it to be. The other obstacle we have is Colt, who likes to stand right in the way of whatever you're doing. It's kind of his favorite thing, it's his hobby. Um, <laughs> but, I don't know, I guess maybe that's his way of trying to help. Yes. Right in the way. <laughs> right. You're in the way, Cole hey, Donald. He also likes to stand right in front of the camera so that your time lapse of this for the video is just a black dog. <laughs> okay. 
We still love you, but it's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> no. You're just a little in the way. Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> He's so good at being in the way. Just so good at it. <laughs> Some of the boards that we're trying to put in are warped. I'll show you one of them. But Corey saw on the internet, on YouTube I believe, um, somebody using a screwdriver, a Phillips, that you like stick into the ground and you can pry it tight while you're nailing. So we're gonna give that a go. He just found a screwdriver. So we have a lot of like this where it's tight and then it's not tight over here. So he's gonna try and pry this in and then I'm gonna nail it. Screwdriver trick worked pretty well. Can I love this right now? I really feel I am flying, releasing my troubles. And although you're so far, I really feel we're entwined. We wait till it's right. Right now, I really feel you can hear me and get this wherever you are. As you breathe in the space, as I breathe in the city, we'll know when it's right for us to be looking at the stars from my balcony. So good, right Colt? We are about to go and break for lunch, but I just wanted to show you the full effect of what we have done so far. I'd say we're probably about halfway. It's looking really good. We were just talking about how I think this is probably the easy part. The hard part's gonna be sanding, finishing, Finishing again, finishing again. One row across the entire cabin, we nailed it. The goal is to be back at the cabin more in the next few weeks to work on our puttying and staining and finishing of the floor. Hopefully this trip we can get all of the wood in, that would be great, and then we can focus on the next steps. Yum. 
Spanish rice and hot cocoa. And mixed veggies. And mixed veggies. No peas. <laughs> I hand picked the peas out so Cory didn't have to eat them. She ate it's them. We are back from lunch and about to start another round of floor install. We've got the first two boards lined up for that end. If you can find it now, you're gonna see. When Corey and I went and got coffee this morning, the place we were at had a wood strip floor, like the thin strips, like old style. Um, and I was looking at it and Corey pointed out that the old wood floors, they would cut out all of the knots and all of the imperfections. And so it was just like uniform grain none of the interesting parts of the wood on the floor, which is fine. But to me, my favorite part of the wood that we put on the walls that we're putting on the floors is the interesting parts. So like, for example, we put these boards in the center of our living room because they're so interesting. I think it's it just as prettier when you have all of the interesting parts of the wood or woods don't match I don't know just more unique even on the walls like we placed this board I remember placing that board there because you would see it and it's just interesting and a lot of the boring boards we would try to cut them with interesting boards like that's boring boring cool boring <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know I just think it's turning out really nice This board has to be notched out to fit around there, so Cory's measuring. are not lining up there's big cracks and I just stubbed my toe so we're about to take a break we brought some coffee out here but it might be a little late in the day to drink coffee at this point my legs and knees are probably gonna hurt tomorrow but hmm. it's crazy we have the bedroom basically done except for the closet and then the living room is really coming together Ta-da! Isn't that crazy? But somebody is not a fan of the hardwood. You have the whole floor. <laughs> Puppy, cold. Do you not like it? Oh. Cory just cut the last board for the living room. Yay! Oh, it feels so good.
It's done. Incredible. Incredible. Tomorrow, we're going to put that board there. And we're going to do the closet and maybe do something about that insulation finally. Today feels so good. I'm so happy with the progress at the cabin. It feels like a new place. I love the kind of projects we do that completely transform the cabin. When we do the trim and the window sills and stuff like that, it feels like a lot of work goes a little way <laughs> to make a big difference. But this, that is life changing. We're gonna go and maybe get some dinner and get more gas for the generator. We'll see you tomorrow. My back's gonna hurt tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> far too long but now i'm on my way back home i hear the west winds calling i'm a name they telling me to head your way down your road and past your gates keep your eyes on the horizon i was looking to belong when i'd already found We're done waiting for the rain to pass. It is not passing. We just got our breakfast completed and out of bed. Now we are heading back to the cabin to work on that floor again. But thank you again to those who do subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. And it's just nice that when we make these videos and put it out there that there are people who really like to watch them. Ready? I'm ready. Look at that. Yeah, it's even better the next day. <laughs> we did this. This is amazing. Yeah. Feels really good. We're gonna clean up the glass on the wood stove and get a fire going so that it's nice and cozy in here before we get started working. love with how the cabin feels right now with this floor in it it feels extra cabiny and homey and I almost thought maybe that putting this floor in would feel like so bougie and like make it feel less like a cabin but that's not the case at all it definitely feels more like a cabin Unbelievable. it has seriously been so dry in Minnesota for months we've been in severe fire warnings and stuff and now it's, we need the rain, but it's ironic that we uh, finally made it to the cabin and now it's really, really rainy. We had such a wet summer, wet spring, and then it just stopped raining sometime in August and really hasn't rained since. We're gonna put the boards underneath this water tank. It just lifts up right off the ground. There is a hose that goes from the water tank through the floor. So we're gonna have to notch around that. But other than that, this closet should be pretty easy to do.
I just cut my finger on the tape measure edge, the sharp edge of the tape measure, that like fear that you have that you're gonna like slice your finger with the tape measure. It finally happened to me. I'm bleeding everywhere. I think my finger is gonna fall off actually. This blue hose goes over and then down through the ground. So this next board, we're gonna have to notch around it. Push our 2.5. And it's, what, about an inch thick, something like that. Lovely. We've got the last boards for the closet. Ooh. No! Uh, babe. You okay? There. <coughs> the one board is gonna hold the whole cabin together. My both my hands are bleeding now. Oh. <laughs> building is dangerous for your health. Man. Corey and I have decided to keep going and work on the floor in the bathroom. We were thinking we might wait because we don't know if we want to do tile on the whole floor, but we've thought about it and sat here and looked at it. And I think our final verdict is we're not tiling the whole floor in the bathroom because the slope would have to be like sloped. <laughs> the floor would have to be sloped and that's going to just kind of change the way our bathroom is and that's not really what we want to do. So we're going to do a tile like floor for the shower, not tile necessarily, but probably like a river stone for the floor of the of the shower basin. And then the rest of the floor, we're just gonna do wood. And since we're already doing the wood and we've got all the tools here and we probably have enough wood to do it, we're just gonna go ahead and put the hardwood floor into the bathroom all the way up to where the shower basin will start. It's a certified mess, it's so bad. Look how clean it is. All right, ready to put some more floor in? Ready. We are at the point where all of the boards that we have left that we can install are boards that we have avoided for one reason or another throughout the rest of the floor. So they're not our favorites. This is where I guess a lot of our less nice boards will be going. Order. You want to keep the full length of this white one and just chop this one shorter? Um, no. Or you don't want to chop the white one and we can well, we won't need to reuse the end. But. Corey is outside cutting the boards to width. The boards are just a little bit too thick to put the last row here, so he's cutting that off. The nail gun survived the flooring install. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice nail gun for... For 25 bucks. Looks so good. Okay, so the next job is putting putty in all of the little cracks and holes and Lord knows there's a lot of that going on in this floor. So we're gonna be kind of on our knees a lot over the next chunk of time and just kind of fill in those holes in. Okay, I lied. Before we fill holes, we are going to cover up the insulation in our closet once and for all. We ran out of the floor roll stuff that we were thinking we could use, but we do have some plastic, like floor covering plastic for like when you're painting and stuff. We're just gonna use that for now just so it's covered. 
And then we'll come back to that once we're ready to put paneling on the wall and we'll put the regular paneling on the wall like we have everywhere else. The other thing that will be a big project for us will be this bathroom. Not sure if we'll do that before next summer because you have to have like certain temperatures to be able to work with the cement and stuff. But something we can do this winter is get our living room and kitchen area set up how we want it to be. We still got a lot of projects to do in the cabin, but it definitely is coming together and it feels really good to be making this progress. It's amazing. This is what we've got. It looks silly, but it's gonna do the job. We are going to putty every one of these joints that has big cracks. And there's like little nicks in some of the corners. But we're not doing these bigger holes. We're saving that for epoxy. ended up puttying about half of the cabin and then there was stuff all over the living room that you saw so we spent the rest of our time here cleaning up the living room we put more stuff up in the loft some stuff under the cabin some stuff in the bathroom back where the shower is going to be and we're also taking a lot of it home with us today so next time we come here we're going to finish puttying the floor we're going to sand it we might even start staining it be really nice if we could just get everything done and have the floors done the next weekend that we're here, which could be next weekend. Then we can start moving back into the cabin and setting it up the way we want it to be. And we'll have this winter with our wood stove and our hardwood floors. And we can either work on other projects like the kitchen or we can just enjoy our time here and be able to use the cabin. We're all packed up. We have all of our stuff on the trailer. Corey did most of that while I was sweeping and we're taking off. Have a good weekend. Yeah, this was a great weekend. I was just calling to see if you're free.